Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Victor and Rolf Flower Balm. This is a fragrance that has been around for quite a while and they keep bringing out different versions of it, sort of Christmas version or spring version, a lighter version, a heavier version, a limited edition version. Um, it's, I think it's a consistent bestseller and it's one of those perfumes that most people have heard of or at least they know someone that wears, um, it's quite a popular one. This perfume is a really strong long lasting perfume. I'm wearing it right now and I can still smell it hours and hours after applying it and you can really smell it on other people as well. It's quite sweet, it's quite girly and it's certainly very feminine. Um, I would say that the main thing that hits you is a patchouli smell and um, it's a strong strong patchouli. In there you've got some, some top notes that are very slight, I think there's some lime in there but essentially that disappears after a second almost and you're immediately hit with a sort of sweet rose and then that strong patchouli coming up behind it. It's kind of similar to the Trezor fragrance, the Trezor rose fragrance, I can't remember what it's called, um, that had Emma Watson in the advert. Something a bit different, a bit unusual, um, and I think that's partly what makes this fragrance stand out. Do I like it? Yes. It is something that I would wear, it's something that I like. It is heavy, so if you're the kind of person that doesn't really like sweet fragrances and doesn't really want to be smelling their own perfume all the time, I wouldn't recommend it. If you want something that's quite powerful, hard-hitting, memorable, um, and sweet and girly, then this is definitely a good one for you. Similar perfumes would be the other Victor and Rolf perfumes, the Beau one, um, the Lancome Trezor fragrance that I just mentioned, uh, Loverdose, the pink Britney Spears perfume, the most perfumes that are pink, the Salvatore Figaramo one as well. Um, perfumes that are pinky purple all tend to smell quite similar. Um, it's not a coincidence that they put them in those bottles. I think the bottle really does say a lot about what the perfume's about to smell like in most cases. So I would recommend trying this if you're in an airport, if you're near a fragrance shop. It is a classic now, it is popular and it does work, it does last a long time. Thanks so much for watching, give it a thumbs up if this was useful and check out my other perfume reviews on my channel. Bye!